गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम प्रोग्राम्स रिलेटेड टू पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग सम बेसिक प्रोग्राम्स एंड दीज प्रोग्राम्स आर पार्ट ऑफ अ प्रैक्टिकल फाइल सो लेट इज स्टार्ट फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल इन दिस प्रोग्राम एक्चुअली वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we should know what is the formula of area of triangle then we convert this formula into python and after that we can easily calculate the area of the triangle so our first program is to find the area of the triangle to find the area of the triangle first of all you should know about the semi perimeter so first of all you should calculate the semi perimeter suppose abc are the three sides of the triangle then perimeter as we know that equal to the sum of the all sides it means parameter should be a plus b plus c and semi perimeter is just half of that total of the sides so semi perimeter s is equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 here abc represent the sides of the triangle and s is the semi perimeter after that if you want to calculate the area of the triangle then for that purpose the formula is so the formula is s under underscore s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c and we take the under root of this equation then we can easily find the out the area of the triangle so this is the method by which we can calculate the area of the triangle in mathematics but uh, if we apply this formula in python programming then we can easily calculate the area of the triangle but certain changes should be there uh, for example under should uh, sign of underscore is not there in python programming so we take appropriate operator to implement this code so let us check the code now if you, it may be possible that you have three numbers you have already three numbers and you have to find out the area of the triangle in this case uh, these three values are assigned to three different variables Uh, for example let us say that uh, a b c are the three variables and a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 7 and in this case if you want to calculate the area of the triangle then answer is always fixed because uh, values are fixed here values are the constant so a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 7 is there so answer is always a fix but uh, if you want uh, user input so you can easily see that code is written here by which you can easily find out uh, why which uh, you can easily get the user input so one thing should be very clear that in the program always writes comments okay because comment are the data statement and they tells the program uh, they tells the user that what is going on in the program actually comments are written for the other person who have little bit knowledge or who have no knowledge about the program code that what happening here so what happening in the program so we write comment in in our program to tell that uh, what is the code of the what is the purpose of the code in that place and always remember that when we write a comment then uh, comment can be written in two different ways whether it is a single line comment or it may be possible uh, there are multiple line comments so multi single line comment are always start with a hash sign so in this uh, program you can easily see that when we just write a hash sign in first line then um, um, comment here is python program to find the area of the triangle now the triangle goes to the second line because i just uh, i just here just uh, um, increase the size of the font but now triangle is not considered as a command because it goes to the next line and it is a single line command so it should be remember that to implement the single line command we just write the hash sign and after that whatever we write within a single line that is considered as a command okay now i think it is very clear to all of you now second thing uh if uh, you want to use a input then uh, take uh, again uh, value three variables as uh, just like that abc now values are not fixed so we just not assign 5 6 7 or something like that Uh, after that uh, give the data type here data type uh, is float but cause um, uh, length of the triangle is most of the time considered as a float value so it is always depend on you and um, 
apply your common sense that what type of data type is used for that particular type of value so i think in this case float is appropriate we don't take integer if you take integer then it is uh, uh, not uh, we can say that it is uh, incorrect but it is not appropriate now after that uh, we can see that uh, uh, we just take a um, uh, function input okay input function is used and uh, within input function we just pass a string enter first side and in second case we just write enter second side in third case we just write enter third side after that if we want to calculate the semi parameters and as uh, apply the formula s is equal to a plus b plus p divided by 2 one thing should be clear that if you want to make a program first of all write a code for the input okay and then uh, second part of the program is to apply the formula and uh, when we apply a formula then use the proper operator used in python programming language because uh, most of the because the most of the um, operators are used in mathematics as uh, are used as it is in python programming but few of them are not used as it is in python programming for example divide uh, if you want to divide a number by another number then slash is used generally slash is not used in mathematics okay uh, so plus uh, and bracket and minus these are all these all operators are used as it is in mathematics so now you can see that semi parameter is s equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 and after that we can calculate the area of the triangle and to apply the area of the triangle um, we have only one problem that underscore underscore sign is uh, not acceptable in case of uh, python programming so we use uh, the sign of exponential here that is represented by double star so we just write area is equal to s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c and write this whole equation in within a uh, within a parenthesis because it is a single statement here and after that if we want to raise the power of it then sign the uh, then use a operator double star which uh, basically means the power so power is 1 by 2 so we just write 0.5 here it means under root should be taken of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c in this statement now we have a we have area actually we have applied two formulas here first of all to find out the semi parameter and after that uh, use the formula of the area because in area uh, we should um, uh, actually we required semi parameter to calculate the area of the triangle so we just apply the calculator uh, we just apply the formula of area here and after that we have only one work to do which is a final print statement which actually show the output on your screen and that is you can easily see that print the area of the triangle is percent 0.2 and what is the meaning of this actually when you write percent 0.2 f it means you should um, here we want to take the answer up to two decimal places to two float decimal places f represent float value so up to two decimal places okay and after that uh, we just write percent area okay so percent area just simply calculate the uh, print the area up to two decimal places and you can see that the uh, output of this uh, program is the area of the triangle is 14.70 actually we write a comment um, when we declared abc as a variable user when we take a user input so here value of abc are fixed so answer is always 14.70 but you can take user input also now i think it is clear to all of you concept is quite clear to all of you so this is the program to how to calculate the area of the triangle you can see that the area of the triangle is 14.70 okay now let us execute this program and see what happens the program is correct or not first of all write the program on the paper first see the code if you are able to find out the error in a paper, that means uh, your programming skills are very clear or very good. And if you are not able to write a program on a copy or error are there before executing a program, you should check what types of error may be there. And only after that when you show that uh, this is a perfect program and this will be executed perfectly, 
then only after you can execute it because it is a standard procedure which you should follow so now let us open the python programming i have a python 3.3 version here you can easily see here i just open it go to this ideally gui and then go to the new file because here we want to open the script mode and just type the program and now execute the program and go to the run button okay now you can easily see here run is there write a program name here pr1.py okay apply the yes now that is our output And output is always fixed because here values of ABC are fixed here. But you can write this program or user input also. In that case, answer will be different. So that is our program. You can easily see here. So this is our first program. Now, our second program, Python program to solve the quadratic equations. So we have to find out the roots of a quadratic equation in this, in this program. As you know that the format of the quadratic equation is like that ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, c are the constant and x is the variable here. So a, b, c are the real numbers. And a is not equal to 0 because if a is equal to 0 then that is not considered as a quadratic equation that is considered as a linear equation so a will not be equal to 0 so that is the standard format of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 okay Then that is the source code you can easily see here. Source code is here. First of all, in quadratic equation it is possible that roots are not equal. They may be a complex number. So to calculate the complex number, we should import a library CMath. And the CMath refers for complex math module. So this module or library should be imported. And to import this library, we just write a statement import CMath. So the different methods or functions which are a part of the CMath now we can access them easily. Okay. So the start is import CMath. Now again we can write this program in two different ways. First of all, values are fixed. In that case, just write uh, the three different values A, B, C and if the values are not fixed, then user input should be there. So let us make it very simple and uh, and we go here for three different values 
or ABC you can take same value also it doesn't matter because our purpose is to find out the roots of a quadratic equation so ABC are the three numbers okay and we have to find out the quadratic roots of this quadratic of this equation roots of this quadratic equation and they may be a complex number okay complex number are those number which have imaginary part and uh, as you know that under root minus 1 represent i but in python programming the complex part or the imaginary part is represented by j in mathematics it is represented by i so that is another difference Now, first of all, you can easily see that discriminant is to be is to be find out d, and formula of d is equal to b square minus four ac. So we just write uh, d is equal to b double star two, which means b square minus four ac. So four ac is represented by four star into a star into c, which means four ac. After that, uh, first root as we know that is represented by minus b my plus under root b square minus 4ac. Okay, so under root b square minus 4ac is already represented by d here upon 2a. So we just write slash 2a. And uh, to calculate the second root, the only difference is, is the difference in terms of sign. So minus b instead of taking minus sign we just take plus sign. So first root is minus b plus under root b square minus 4 is upon 2 and second root uh, is under minus b minus b square minus 4 is upon 2a. So b square minus 4 is upon 2a actually we take uh, we give it a value as a d because it is common to both these factor both these roots. Now we just apply the formula. So SOL1 means solution 1 is equal to minus b. Now if you want to find out the square root, okay. So you have two options. So there is a, first of all there is a uh, function named SQRT, which is a part of uh, C math module okay so this function is a part of C math module so we just write C math dot so name of the library first after that put dot operator and then put the function name okay that is sqrt and pass d as a parameter value so it will calculate the square uh, so it will calculate the square root of the d and if it is found that it is a complex number then it will be easily calculated and second case it is also there the only difference between the is in the terms of the plus and the minus sign so you can easily see here so now we have to find out now we have two roots sol1 and sol2 and these two roots uh, we can easily find out by using sqrt function which is a part of cmath library so we just write cmath dot sqrt always remember that when you want to access a function of a particular library then just write the name of that library after that put dot operator and then name of the function okay and uh, if there is a function then there should be a parameter value in most of the time some functions have no parameter value and in this case sqrt uh, function as a parameter value d that is a discriminant so which is uh, calculated by the formula b square minus 4ac and it is already calculated in the first line you can easily see that so now we have the two values sol1 and sol2 which are the basically solution 1 and solution 2 are the roots of the quadratic equation which may be in the forms of complex number 
if they are not complex number then imaginary part uh, is uh, zero there if uh, they are complex number then imaginary part is represented by g in mathematics generally we write a complex uh, number it's like that 2 plus 3i it means 3 is the imaginary part and 2 is the real part okay and after that uh, we have only one work to do and that is the print the output of the program and see see the format and see the format so to print uh, we just write the print statement print the solution r 0 and 1 and what is the meaning of 0 and 1 here 0 and 1 basically represent the position 0 represent first position and 1 represent second position and that is written within the curly brackets okay 0 and 1 so after that put we just write put format as well 1 as well 2 so first value solution 1 and second value is solution 2 to be printed here so you can easily see the output enter a is equal to 1 enter b is equal to 5 enter c is equal to 6 okay if you have if you just um, give user input then these are the values of uh, abc and after that we just um, uh, see the output the solution are minus 3 plus 0 j and minus 2 plus 0 j we can easily see that these are the real numbers that are represented in the forms of complex number because here we just assume that complex number may be real or maybe if they are real then their imaginary part is zero just like that in this case and if they are if they have imaginary part then they are represented with j sign so this is a program how to calculate a how to calculate quadratic equation how to calculate the roots of a quadratic equation now it is time to execute the program and let us see what happens after the execution of the program we get the actual output or not that is a source code here you can take user input in this program so go to the python then python ideally run the program you can easily see that that is a program you save the program Execute it, we can see the roots of the quadratic equation here. Okay. Now it is our third program Python program to swap two variables. We have two values x and y, and we want to interchange them and that that source code basically implement the swapping of two variables
so that is the program to swap a two variable here two variables are x and y so we take x equal to 5 and y is equal to 10 here or you can take user input also i think uh, we should must take user input here so you can easily see that the statement are written in the form of a comment here you should just uh, remove this comment if you want to take a uh, user input so x is equal to input enter value of x y is equal to input enter value of y okay now x and y are any values so our first formula is uh, when we want to swap a two value variable so just take a temporary variable first of all and that temporary variable suppose uh, is represented by the variable temp temp okay now assign the first value to this variable temp now the first value is assigned to variable temp here and assign to second variable second value of variable to x so what happens here as you can see here x is equal to y we just write the statement x equal to y actually this means y value of y is assigned to x so now the y value of y becomes the value of the x and the value of the x basically is stored in the value of the temp and at last third statement you can easily see that y equal to temp it means the value of the temp is assigned to y and as you know that temp variable basically stored the value of the x so the value of the x is now assigned to y so we just take a third variable temp to just swap these three values now what happens in this program that value of the y is stored in the um, stored in x variable x and the value of the x is now stored in the y so swapping is done here and after that we just give a simple print statement to print the output using format function so the value of the x after swapping and you can see that curly brackets are here no value is given to the format dot format x so value of the x should be printed here and that is the value of the y after the swapping and similar similarly we can just apply for y also so second print statement tells that print the value of the y after swapping and the curly brackets dot format y so value of the y will be printed here So that is a program to calculate and to swap two different values in this program we just take a temporary variable temp temp in which we just store the value of the first variable and after that when we just store the value of the first variable then we can only assign the value of a second variable to that first variable by just apply the formula x is equal to y and now value of first variable is assigned to value of value of first variable is assigned to second variable by the statement y is equal to 10 so that is the program to swap two different values using uh, using third variable and you can write this program without using third variable also so there are two options to implement this program or to the implement this uh, implement this concept with with using third variable and without using third variable so when we use a third variable it just uh, work like a container so we just put the value of first variable into that container suppose and uh, now first variable is empty or we can say that uh, we can assign any other value to it so that is the basic concept now we can apply this source code by without using third variable and to implement this code is very simple to implement
and you can easily see the here we just write x is equal to x comma y is equal to y comma x so value of y is assigned to x and value of x is assigned to y so in this way you can also assign or also swap two different values so these these are the three programs of a practical file i hope uh, you are able to understand these three programs now so thanks for watching this video